Michigan lawmakers taking a big step to prepare for the coronavirus. A bipartisan bill passed in the Senate today that will include more than $14.5 million in funding. Senator Gary Peters says part of that funding will be used for more testing for the deadly virus. Right now, there's been shipments of tests, uh, roughly a, a million diff uh, tests, which could could test uh, 600 to 700,000 people in this country. And right now, a number of companies are ramping up production of those tests as rapidly as possible. Part of the appropriations we passed today will help pay for those and get them in the hands of people so we can get a better sense as to who has the disease and who does not. Yeah, a key step for sure. The funding will also go to protective equipment like masks, gloves, and vaccines. And we know everybody has so many questions concerning the coronavirus, and our Dr. Frank McGeorge is working very diligently to yeah. make sure that we can answer all those questions you have. Tonight, he's addressing a common question that affects everyone, our money. Stop. Yeah, Karen and Jason, exactly. Concerns over coronavirus, well, they've created intense swings in financial markets. But I'm talking about greenbacks, the cash in your wallet. We touch it, we pass it between people. Some people even lick their fingers as they count it. Is that a problem? Viewers from Plymouth to Gross Point ask, can you get coronavirus from handling money? The answer is, we don't know, but it's worth thinking about. Since mid-February, the Bank of China has been either destroying bills or disinfecting their cash with ultraviolet light and high temperatures, then storing it for seven to 14 days before re-releasing it back into the circulation. That is based on studies that have shown bacteria and viruses can survive on money. Now, there is no study that shows the COVID-19 virus can survive on cash. However, an unidentified representative from the World Health Organization reportedly told a British newspaper that cash could be contributing to the spread of COVID-19. Now, the U.S. Treasury has not made any statement on U.S. currency. Until this issue is properly studied, I would recommend a common sense approach. Where possible, use cashless options. When you do handle cash, wash your hands or use hand sanitizer afterward, especially if you're about to handle food. Now, the common thread to all of these recommendations is just good hygiene. Anytime someone interacts with other people or publicly shared items or objects, you should just remain aware of that contact and avoid contaminating your eyes, nose, or mouth in particular. And so with cash, it's a big deal if you're at a restaurant, for yeah. example, yeah. and then you're about to touch your food. So, you know, consider having some hand sanitizer available there. Yeah, hopefully people remember the, it used to be common sense that money is pretty dirty anyway. It is yeah. disgusting. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So and studies have shown it's definitely covered with all kinds of things you don't want. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Doc, for the reminder. Yeah.